Welcome to Alyssa's workshop at midnight because it is literally midnight and it's a weekend and I can't sleep. So here we are. Anyway, are you looking to be a voice actor? Well, clearly you are because I mean, why else would you be watching this video? I mean, if you're just watching it to be entertained by me, then be my guest because I like views. But hey, if you want to be a voice actor, you came to the right video, okay? So so let's just get into that. So tip one of being a voice actor, please, for the love of all things holy, don't have background noise. I don't want to hear people screaming in the background. I don't want to hear your siblings fighting in the background. I don't want to hear water boiling in the background. I don't want to hear a blaring fan in the background because you want to know what that does? That distracts us from your voice, from your beautiful, perfect voice, okay? So what I recommend is getting like your Apple earbuds, your Scully's or something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a $400,000 mic. You can just pull up with your earbuds and then go in a quiet room. What I do I, is before I got my mic, I went in my closet, put a blanket over my head and spoke into my little Apple earbud mic and I called that my recording studio. <laughs> Um, anyway, but it worked. It got rid, like, the background noise. So, there you go. Um, second, work on voices. A lot of, um, voices aren't all gonna be in your range. For example, this is my regular voice, but I do voices that are up here sometimes. Or I'll do voices that are all the way down here, you know? Um, so practice voices work on like other workshops on youtube or whatever that helps you get in there work on accents like this is my country accent and i do it so much that it literally just naturally comes at this point um you can also do your british accent at least that's what i can do um and a regular you know american i don't really have any others at the moment but you know but those can also come in handy in some things um i saw a recent uh casting call for a korean accent um i can't do that but if you can then go for it um so that's another thing uh what you also want to do is if you audition and say if you're auditioning specifically for a gotcha club series or movie or something what directors typically do um they have reaction keys so basically they have these reactions um say the cake emoji meant wow top pick you have a 90 to 100 percent chance of being chosen or you get um a spider web that's like you're not fit for that character and try auditioning for a different one so what i do if i get like a lower reaction then i'll go up and see and listen to the auditions with the higher reaction and then put notes handy dandy little notebook type thing and i put notes on what that person did um, that was different than what I did. Um, and, <laughs> and I'll imply, I'll apply that to my redo audition. Um, or what you can also do is you can, um, ask the director for feedback. That's what I did on one of, uh, my recent auditions. I got a 70% instead of, you know, what I wanted because I'm an overachiever. Uh, if you don't know that about me already. Um, so I DM the director and I listened to the other auditions with the higher role and I ended up getting a 90 to hundred percent chance to be casted for that role. Um, so that's how my freaking knee hurts. Anyway, so that's just another thing that you want to do. Next up, voice acting is different than both theater acting and movie acting. Why did I use my fingers like this? I don't know. Um, but theater acting, you're over the top. You're like insane. Movie acting, you're more low key. The camera's just all up in your face. You can see the emotion on your face. Like a saddened scene would be like more of a really up close. You're about to start crying. You're tearing up type of thing. And in theater, you have to use body language. <laughs> um, but in voice acting, it's none of those. It's it's the right in between middle line. You want to have the acting, but you don't want to be over the top. But you also don't want to be monotone. <sighs> please, please, never just read the script. Read 
the audition lines. This is another tip. Read the audition lines multiple times. Get into character as in what is this character feeling? What am I saying? Who am I saying this to? And if you have any of those questions, ask the director or any of the assistant directors that probably know the answer and they'll probably tell you and that will help you get into the character and then you can just naturally say the lines without needing to read off the script. You have the emotion and you have the non-emotion and we want the emotion. And it's so much easier to bring down emotion than to bring up emotion. So if you were casted um, because you were over the top, it's easy to work around going under from the top to the part they want than to go from the bottom to the part they want. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have now. If I think of anything else, then I'll have a part two. Like and comment. Um... If you want a part two, if I ever think of anything. Um, <clears throat> and comment if you have any questions. I mean, I guess that's it. Anyway, bye. Hope you have a nice night, day, morning, evening, afternoon, noon, whatever time it is. I hope you have a nice time. <laughs> bye.